Eleanor wants to learn to play the piano. We've marked the keys for her, but the piano was out of tune. So, I want to tune the piano, but I've never done that before. I've tuned a guitar, it's pretty similar. There are strings, and there are nuts to adjust the strings. You turn clockwise to make it um, sharper, and you turn counterclockwise to make it flatter. So, Eleanor, if you will push the G key for me, please. As you can see, it is, press it again, please. It's very flat. Eleanor, press the G again. So, there it is. It's right here. And so, I just follow it up. This nut here is going to adjust this first string. In order to adjust it, you can hit it again, Eleanor. I want to mute the other two strings. Go and let it go. The I need to make my. You have to have a uh, something to mute the strings with that you don't want to hear right now. And I realize now as I'm getting lower, it, I needed a smaller mute. Okay, press it, Eleanor. Now it's only going to ring one key and one string. Go ahead, Eleanor, press it again. Thank you. And so now I'm just going to take and I'm going to turn my wrench clockwise a little bit. Go ahead and hit it again, Eleanor. Keep hit it again. And so I'm just adjusting this clockwise. Go ahead, Eleanor. It's letting some of these others play a little bit. I'm going to hold the. I'm going to hold my mute. Go ahead and hit it, Eleanor. So I went a little bit too sharp. So in order to make it go flat again, I'm just going to turn the opposite direction just a pinch. And I find it harder to go counterclockwise than to go clockwise. Go ahead, Eleanor. Hit it. Keep going. Give me another one. Okay, good. So I'm going to go clockwise a hair. Just, it's kind of hard to get these guys just right. Go ahead. Press it. Gee. Okay, so that's the idea. Oh, I'm going to move to the bottom nut and hit the string, hit it note again, Eleanor. It. Again, it's flat, an F sharp is flatter than a G. So I'm going to turn it clockwise, hit it again. I need to get a thicker mute. Go ahead, hit it again. I went a little bit too far. I'm going to make it thicker. All right. I started tuning the piano already, but it is... Uh, not finished yet, so uh, Lily's going to help me tune some of these keys. Lily, will you help me tune the B? Okay, press it again, please. So you can see that the B is very flat because it's showing it's on A sharp to B flat. So now go ahead and press it again, Lily, so we'll show them where it's hitting. So that's where it's hitting. So that's the B there. So I just want to go up and put it on one of the three strings. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this clockwise to make it sharper. So in order to do that, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard. So the purpose of the cardboard is to mute two of the strings because there are three strings for each key. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the third string that's there, and I'm going to mute the first and second strings. B. And again, it's flat, so I'm going to go ahead and keep playing it, Lily. And if you've gone a little too far, like I just did there, just go ahead and go the other direction. That's nice. Okay. And now, when I do the middle string, I, I don't really know how to mute it any other way. I just go ahead and hold with two fingers here on the outside strings while I go ahead and push the B for me. Pinch too far, I'm gonna back it off and then I'll see. All right, and now with cardboard out, go ahead, Lily, hit it. 
and you can see that we're hitting right about in the right spot now. Go ahead and Lily, play the C for me. And you see again, every note here is way out of whack, so I'm going to do the same steps again. To create your um, tuning hammer, just turn your quarter inch socket drive around so that the square end that goes over your quarter inch drive is there. And use a hex head in here, whatever size uh, socket you've got, and hook that onto your wrench. Turn clock. All right, so it's for these uh, low octave keys that they each have two for. It's only the various lowest ones that only have one each. So, so there's only one for each of those hammers. For each of these, there's going to be two. So the same principle, just mute one while you tune the other and tighten them down or loosen them up depending on what you need. 